You kill me, you become me. You are not the Flash, Barry. We are. Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 5. So just quickly before we get into the rest of the video, as you would have noticed, or most of you would have noticed, at the beginning of my most recent Flash videos, I've been doing little funny videos and stuff, little clips at the beginning. Um, yeah, so if you want to submit any of them, if you have any funny clips you'd like to submit, or little meme stuff like the ones I've been doing, just um, yeah, sit, uh, submit them to me through Twitter. I'll give you a mini shout out at the beginning of the video if I use one of yours. Um, so yeah, my Twitter's linked in the description down below. Go check it out and send me any uh, little clips you have that you want me to use. So Nora Allen's mistake that she, well, says that she has made at the end of season four as she walks into the West household has many people talking. Well, many might be an exaggeration, but yeah, a decent amount of people are talking about it and wondering, well, what is it? What is this big mistake that she has made? Well, there have been a plethora of theories and thoughts about what this could be, whether it has to do with those individual points in time that we saw her show up in, so the wedding, the two times it jitters, and of course it's Cecile's baby shower, or possibly all four combined. And of course, the other popular option as to what her big mistake was has to do with the satellite incident where DeVoe's extra backup plan was to have that Starlab satellite like hurtled down to Earth and just obliterate everyone in its path. But this was all prevented by Barry and Nora Allen punching it and destroying it, which led many to believe that Nora, in this act, was actually saving Barry. As we heard Marley's DeVoe say earlier while Barry was running towards it by himself, the impact of that satellite would most likely kill Barry. He wouldn't have been able to take that impact by himself. Which makes sense as to why Nora would intervene, even if it would affect the timeline even more. But this is where things get confusing in regards to other things already set up on the show regarding the future. As we all know, we have that 2024 newspaper from the time vault about Barry, or might I say The Flash, going missing and vanishing in crisis. So this event is still roughly six years away from happening at the point of the finale. So if Barry was meant to die in this timeline at that precise moment, then how would he be around for that moment from the newspaper and that is where the confusion has started to hit people. If Nora's big mistake was, in fact, helping destroy that satellite so Barry didn't take the full force of it and die, then it would black out that newspaper article completely. And really, a lot of people do believe that the 2024 newspaper article is what the, in like the entire show is going to lead up to, which wouldn't be until the last few episodes of season 10. So you would have to think that wouldn't be the case. Just on a side note, many have brought up the newspaper article in various comment sections of mine and have asked, when will we see it become a main focus again? And other things like that. Personally, I believe the show just uses it as a reference point most of the time when it is needed. So in season one, Wellsabart or evil Harrison Wells or Earbud Thorne was using it so he could see that he was like still on track to creating Barry properly and that everything was going to plan. And then in season three, I think it was in the crossover that we first went back to it. It was used to basically confirm Iris's existence in the future and that Savitar didn't skewer her and kill her. So even though it has been a big part of certain stories, in regards to its importance to the whole show up to this point, it actually hasn't been that big. So it is hard to tell when they will come back to it, unless something happens that relates back to things in that article, but you'd have to expect the earliest time we will probably come back to this article would be in season 10. But in various interviews since season one, the article has been brought up and questioned as to where it is all leading. Like, is this crisis just meant to be something contained to the Flash show, or is it something big for the whole Arrowverse. Because the term crisis doesn't just relate to one story, you know, the one that a lot of people refer to. It is used in many event names throughout, you know, DC Comics. But obviously the one crisis event that connects directly to not only the Flash mantle, but specifically Barry Allen, is of course Crisis on Infinite Earths. Not to bore everyone with the story of this event with specifics, Essentially, this is the story in which Barry sacrifices himself to save not just Iris West or Wally West or Bebo. This is the story in which he sacrifices himself to save everything you can think of. And it is such a big moment as it was really the last real death in a comic book that mattered. For a while, at least. Like, Barry was dead in the DC Universe for over 20 years, with, of course, Wally West taking over the mantle and being the Flash that many people around today grew up with, whether that be in the comics or in the Justice League television shows. We know from carefully examining that newspaper from all the way back in Season 1, what goes down from a spectator or civilian view of the 2024 event. Essentially, the Flash and Reverse Flash have this huge fight in the middle of Central City, causing a decent amount of damage. The Flash is assisted by Green Arrow, the Atom, and Hawkgirl in this fight. 
Will we see Hawkgirl? I would be very surprised if we did. During this fight, both the Flash and Reverse Flash are having a heated conversation which then leads to Reverse Flash running away and the Flash speeding after him. That chase goes on for a bit before there is this big flash of lightning and both of them just disappear. I for one, and I'm sure many of you would agree with me, is that these two, so the Flash and Reverse Flash in that fight, are the same ones that are present at the night that Nora Allen, you know, Barry's mother, not the daughter, Oh boy, that's that's confusing. Anyway, yeah, the night that Barry's mother was murdered. And that heated conversation between the Flash and Reverse Flash that is noted down is in fact Eobard Thorne, or Reverse Flash, bringing up that, well, he is going to do that. Go murder Barry's mum. Well, actually, he'd actually be going to murder Barry because that's what was going to happen. He was going to kill Barry when he was young, wasn't able to do it. Barry was saved. He killed Barry's mum instead. That's how it worked, wasn't it? Obviously, this whole event is subject to change as this was set up all the way back in season one and wouldn't play out until, you know, season 10. So obviously little things can be changed here and there, such as Hawkgirl being there. Can't see that happening. They'll probably put like someone else there. I don't know, someone, maybe Supergirl. And funnily enough, like this is just a massive coincidence, but I guess it's a good coincidence, I guess. Earlier today from when I was um, making this video, Greg Belanti, who is the guy behind all of the Arrowverse shows, signed an extension deal with Warner Brothers TV up until 2024. So is that a coincidence or is it a sign? I'll let you guys be the judge of that in the comment section down below. Now, both Grant Gust and I think it was Andrew Kreisberg a couple of years back said that they would love to lead up to an event like a Crisis on Infinite Earths. Maybe not that exact scale, but something like, you know, half of that scale, maybe. And it could be the culmination of Barry's time in the Arrowverse. Now, as we should all know, Andrew Kreisberg is no longer involved with The Flash Show, as well as the other properties in DC TV. So they may step away from this concept just due to the grand nature of it and resort to something else. And of course, we do have the DC film side who want to use that, who, like, who may want to use that story, sorry, as when it comes down to it, Crisis on Infinite Earths would be that like epic event, you know, very similar to like an Infinity War and stuff like that, so they might want to save that for them. But then again, Flash did use Flashpoint, so and I'm sure they'll use Flashpoint in the films at some point, so don't know if it really matters in regards to that. But when it comes down to the lead up to this, I don't think in the slightest that Nora Allen stopping the satellite with Barry and most likely saving his life has any effect on this. Nora's mistakes have to do with everything before that event. And of course, I'm talking about those, uh, those other four times that she traveled back to. So the wedding, the jitters times, and Cecile's baby shower. Nora just being in this time is enough to change the future, let alone interacting and stopping other events that were meant to play out with those characters. Like what would have happened if Cisco and Ralph couldn't pay for those coffees? What were Caitlin and Harry about to have a conversation about? Nora interfered and stopped the proper timeline from playing out. Now, I have no doubt that this could also lead into the satellite incident. There is some correlation there, most likely. So basically those four events change the timeline in little bits that the, you know, the satellite incident happened. Like in the original timeline, if those events were allowed to play out, the satellite incident didn't happen. But that satellite incident, I believe, has to do with next season's week to week problems, as well as something a bit bigger, but not in regards to the life or death situation of our favorite red speeds of that being Barry Allen. But I will go over the true issues following the satellite incident in a video in the next couple of days, or within the next week, one of the two, so keep your eyes out for that. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'll be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show your support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on what I talked about in this video. Do you agree with me? Do you think the satellite incident is not Nora's mistake and it's everything before that? And the satellite is just one of the causes or the effects of her mistake. Just let me know all of your different opinions in the comments section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.